it's crimson60620 and thanks for watching my channel guys remember subscribe to my channel like and share my videos as always if you want to help support me support my patreon now enjoy the show What's up? This is Crimson60620. And I'm here to do a response video. But I want you guys to notice something in the background. I have myself actually doing a bike ride. And this will come up in the video. Here we go. Skip it up and that up. So I just saw a video today by Solid Rev. I'll have a link to his video below in the description. You can check it out. Called God of War made me question my abilities as a gamer. And it struck a chord with me because after I played God of War, I thought the same thing. Funny, Rich. When I played God of War, I thought it was a God of War game. And I like how you use somebody else's clip in their video. And I'm going to do it to you. Oh well, this is ironic. Seems like you put a little bit more work this time. Now look, I know I get all the time in the comments that I suck at games, okay? And I'll admit that, look, I'm not MLG by any means, but there's two genre of games, minus online, that I consider myself fairly competent at. Oh, so you know you shit. Video over, I can go. Wait, what? You said that the video is more than that? But he just said that he's shit. He doesn't... <sighs> I get it. Somebody's wrong on the internet. Let's go. And uh, this is probably the last time I'll be petty. I'm going to give him a little bit more time to make his phrase. And that's action platformers and first-person shooters. I am not pro by any means, but I can get by. So going into God of War, especially because I beat the first three, I was feeling pretty confident, man. Like, yeah, man, I'm going to do good on this stream. I'm not going to play it on any insane difficulty like hard or anything. I think it's called Godlike, the one beyond that. If I'm wrong, uh, don't chastise me. I'm going off the top of my head right now. But I'm going to play it on normal. You know, when I play the other God of Wars, even if the controls are different, I'll adapt and get used to it. So you admit that you've played other God of Wars games before. And you admit that you didn't start on an insane difficulty. You started on a normal level. Again, where is that he's too old for this? Is it that he's just he's just trash? <sighs> okay, so I'm leaving the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, maybe. Maybe he's not used to the control stream. The ah, control stream is getting laid and I'm tired. But maybe, maybe he doesn't know what he's doing. Let's finish the video. So I start the live stream and I start the game and the controls are different from other God of Wars. And I saw myself struggling. You know, obviously they have the tutorials of what buttons to hit and things like that. And I would follow them and be like, all right, so R1 is a light attack and R2 is a heavy attack. It's different from the other God of Wars. They used to use the face buttons, but whatever, man. You know, if things change, games evolve, and I'll just evolve and adapt with the game like I've always done. But I saw myself throughout the game struggling. And it started to freak me out because I felt like my parents' friends back in the day when they used to come over and see me playing N64 and things like that and say to me, oh, Rich, you know, I would love to play games, but they're getting too complicated for me. And it was at that moment that I felt very old. Now, Rich, God, come on. 
So you said you've played other God of War games. And most of your channel, most of your channel videos were you doing some half ass gameplay through while you read through articles. And you're surprised at a different control scheme. I get it. Do you use the same excuses, Solid Rev? Oh, I'm used to shooters. No, you just suck. And this whole thing about you being old, and you, this whole thing about how you seems like your you seem like your parents' friends. If you were my age, which you're probably a year or two younger than my age, if you're still if you're still at home with your parents' friends, while you had an N64. No, no, I'm not going to get into that. But games didn't get complicated, dog. They actually got easier because technology got easier. And you can do a lot more stuff with the technology. So that's why we have auto saves and things of that nature. Games aren't getting complex. You just never were that bright. Let's continue. It was weird. Now, in the new God of War, you have to work with Kratos' son, Atreus, who in the new God of War, Kratos isn't fast enough to get certain enemies because he's getting older as well. Um, so Atreus has to stun them with his bow and arrow. And, you know, I was already f feeling uncomfortable with the controls to begin with, which was freaking me out because, oh my God, they're different and my brain wasn't adapting to the differentness. But there was this one scene, I don't remember exactly what the character's called. I'll just call her like a wench or a witch or whatever the case may be. And the only way for Kratos to attack her was to have Atreus actually hit her with the bow and arrow. And for some reason, I could not wrap my mind around that. I spazzed out and I must have died at this character five or six times. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you die, bitch. I don't know what you come back to me for. Okay, I admit it. Probably shouldn't have called her a bitch. I was a little bit too heated, but it was an easy kill. Normal wasn't that difficult <laughs> oh you just suck at games dog and don't blame it on the game blame it on you and people in the live stream were saying rich you are terrible at this and there's a lot of times where if i'm playing like csgo and actually i do somewhat decent in certain matches that i used to show my gameplay footage when i was using gameplay footage on youtube where i actually did pretty good and i'm like i, I placed like second dude or some matches i even placed first but because well, i actually died you know even though i placed like first or second that you think i'm terrible like whatever man i you know i look i'm not one of those professional streamers so say what you want to but this time when people in the comments were like, Rich, you're doing really bad. I'm like, you're right. 
<laughs> you, I am doing bad. Why am I struggling with these controls? And why, why am I, why, why am I not wrapping my mind around this? And then finally, I, I beat this character and moved on, and I beat a couple other bosses in the live stream. And you know, it, it's not that I wasn't competent, but throughout the rest of the live stream, I kept on. There were times where I just, you know, like when, when in the new God of War, when you beat a character down or beat an enemy down, there's like a purple halo that goes around them, which means that if you click the right analog stick, you'll Kratos will do a finishing move on them. And for some reason, I kept on hitting both analog sticks and going into that rage mode that Kratos has. And I'm like, good, why am I just not doing this? Why is this not becoming second nature? You just said you played the previous God of War games. Now, I just did a stream of God of War 3. And probably one of my most successful streams slash YouTube playthrough. In God of War 3, Rage of the Spartan was the two directional, but uh, deep, uh, whatever these called, sticks. It was in there. You just couldn't read, dog, because it says press R3 to activate. But what do I expect from you? You think that sitting in front of a camera with your tits on the table is doing hard work. Hell, it's not as if you're riding a bike every day, every morning to train. But let's continue and i started to think back being younger and i'm like oh my god i'm becoming that person that when i was 16 i used to make fun of i'm becoming fucking old and it's tougher for me to wrap my mind around the controls i remember being 16 and that was around the time that goldeneye came out and my parents friends would come over and some of them were gamers and they were a little bit older than me or around my age and they were saying, man, that looks great. You know, or I, one of them said, I remember I got an N64 and I wanted to get GoldenEye and I got it and I just can't wrap my mind around the controls. So I, I just got frustrated and stopped playing it. And I remember thinking, you old bastard, <laughs> like how hard is it, man? Just learn the controls. And now me being 36, around the age of my parents' friends from my past that I remember, I, I'm starting to relate to that. I'm not catching on to controls how I used to. I'm not catching on to new gameplay mechanics in new games like I used to be able to. And it's fucking freaking me out. Another perfect example is with Super Mario Odyssey. I, ha I have a younger brother who's 15 years old and he has Super Mario Odyssey as well. And it it's, it's a great game. I haven't had time to finish it because welcome to being a parent. I have an infant son and a one and a half year old son. Um, and my brother came over and he knew this like jumping cheat technique that requires crazy finger work to get down, okay? But it helps you get to certain areas of the map that would be really tough to get to without it. Technically, it's not something that you need to use to, to play Super Mario Odyssey, but it really helps if you, if you get this, this jumping technique down. Now, Rich, this is where people come in and say you're a flip-flopper. You did a video to three maybe four years ago about how a octogenarian or a septuagenarian a fucking 60 to 70 or 80 year old woman was learning how to play grand theft autos in our 60s no it's not that your fingers are too old and decrepit and decrepit to play the game dude i'm older than you and i still play god of war like a motherfucking well like somebody who learned all the tricks of the trade to actually play and fuck i do more than you yeah i remember when my kid was younger and i didn't have as much time for games but i still drew went to the gym ha <laughs> ha i'm sorry i'm sorry to laugh i'm still a fat ass but i still go to the gym and i have video proof of it ride my bike and i have video proof of it and still game no you don't like hard work and hell now I even do YouTube funny that rich but no it's an excuse oh I'm too old and decrepit stop with the excuses maybe if you had real skill 
and leave it a little practice. Your e-begging would actually work off. But let's continue. And we're wrapping this up anyway. And it would be something back in the day, man, when I was his age, I would get one, two, three, just like that. And I'm sitting there when he was showing me. He, he came over during the holidays and played it with me. And I was fumbling, man. I, I couldn't get it. I eventually, after like 20, 30 minutes, was able to finally get the move down. But even then, it was still like... I, I couldn't do it naturally. And this is something I know when I was my brother's age that I would get down just like that. And again, I'm, and it, it, it just frustrated me. And I, that's why I tried for like 20, like, no, I'm going to get this. I have been gaming for way too goddamn long. I can do this. And yeah, I finally got it, but with a struggle, with a struggle. And that used to not be me. And now I think back to my parents' friends who used to be like, oh, these games are getting too complicated. And it kind of scares me, but now as I'm in my mid thirties, I relate a little bit. What the hell is what the hell is happening to me, man? Now, obviously, look, other things come into play too, and I'm going to be honest with you about something else. Due to how much I'm at this office, and when I'm home, I have two babies, two little sons, one and a half years old, and one that's two months old. My free time is minimum. So I don't have that much time to game. I'll keep it real with you. I want a game. I buy a ton of new games when they come out. And I have full intentions on playing them. But every single time I buy a game, I never have time to touch it because I have a lot of other obligations. I'm sure that's part of it too. But even when I took gaming hiatuses as a kid, which I took even bigger ones than I sometimes do now due to all my other obligations... I used to be able to just pick up a controller, even if it was a new game with a new control scheme that I was not familiar with at all, and just pick it up. I don't know why I snapped before. I should have just snapped right there, but you get my point. And now, no, I don't pick it up the same way I used to. Now, does this mean I'm going to stop gaming and just sell all my consoles and give up on this? No. Even if I wasn't doing Review Tech USA, I'm sure I'd be buying <laughs> a couple gaming PCs and all the consoles. Like, I just know me, man. That's just how I am. I... I even if I don't have time to game, I love knowing that the game is there so when I do have the time, I can play it. But just with what happened with God of War and hearing what Solid Rev was talking about, even though it was kind of a different angle than what I'm talking about, it makes you think about getting older and it makes you think and it frustrates you a little bit knowing that you may not have the same abilities that you had maybe even 15, 20 years ago. Getting older sucks. To all the younger people that are watching this that wishes they were adults, no, you don't. Enjoy being a kid, man. Enjoy being young. Enjoy being that you could pick up a new game and just catch on with it just like that. Because when you get older, you have more responsibilities and you end up not being as good at things that you used to be. And I'm noticing that with me with games now. And it sucks. You start realizing that you're getting older and you aren't as capable as you used to be. And it's a little bit depressing. Maybe it's just me, but it's a little bit depressing. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. All right, Rich. God damn it. I was going to give you credit. But no, I'm not. Because you just took somebody else's idea. And if it was you genuinely didn't... You didn't... If you didn't show Solid Rev's video first, I would have gave you credit for this. But this is just another lazily thrown together video for YouTube ad revenue. I don't even know, I don't even think you care if people actually watch your video as long as they should. As long as that check get cash, then you are okay. Because in the end, you're not making content for discussion anymore. You're not making even commentary of your own anymore. You're making videos just for those 14 and 15 year olds that you were just talking to those videos that says hey you're gonna be old soon and you're gonna have responsibilities well guy you don't have responsibilities now you too busy to game again I've had a young child just one but that didn't stop me from riding my bike heading to the gym you know, going to a real job and for, for making YouTube videos. You're not that busy, dog. But I am. 
And this is Crimson60620. Thank you for watching. Enjoy my videos. Like, share, and subscribe. And I think I'm going to go do some streaming. Get my ass handed to me and blame it on being old. Thanks.